Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey with Teaching Online with Kelsey. I talk about online teaching tips. I talk about how you can earn passive income through TPT and all sorts of other fun topics. So if this is your first time seeing me, please make sure it's not the last time by hitting that red subscription button and the bell down below so that you're notified of new videos on my channel every week. And also give this video a thumbs up because it does support me in this channel. And if you have any further questions about what we're talking about on this video please 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 leave a comment down below i'd love to have these healthy discussions with you and i also love to hear from you what i should talk about next on my channel because i want to be able to serve you and answer your questions on what you're looking for and what you're doing so originally i was going to talk about how out school out school not to be confused with all school even though by the title of this video we're going to be talking about all school I originally wanted to talk about how OutSchool is going to start doing like an official one-on-one -on -one, uh, setting in terms of like class structure and how this is going to be really innovative. But I realized that a lot of you actually follow me on my channel because of all school and how I was able to be a beta tester for all the classes for all school and how I was sort of their star teacher for the platform to like promote the platform and to call in for a good word and be able to teach all these classes and be able to show to you all that I was able to make money. And yes, like you are still able to earn real money on the all school platform. However, you know, a lot of you really appreciate my transparency and honesty in my videos. And for this particular video, I'm just gonna share an honest update with you on how all school is going for me personally, even as a founding teacher who had started with all school from the beginning, they had always contacted me and, and asked for my help in like tutorial videos for new teachers and all this stuff. So here's the real rundown. I, I hope you're sitting down. Okay, what has happened is that I have not been actively teaching on all school in quite some time. In fact, the last time I had taught a class on the all school platform was on January of 2023. And it was at that point, it was like way, way before uh, my husband and I's decision to sell the, the previous house that we were in, which a lot of you were probably uh, first met me in the previous house that I was in, in a completely different background. Uh, so we were, I was still teaching in the old house when I taught my last all school class. And it was sort of serendipitous in that moment because it was that following month that we had decided we're gonna sell this house and we're gonna move into a new one. And that was about a two month process to get the house ready to sell, put it on the market, look for a new house, and all these things just kind of lining up in our favor to make sure we have a new house to live in. It was a whole two month process. And even once we got moved into the house, we had to make sure everything was settled and that we all felt comfortable, you know, with our lives in a new house. And, and it was around that time that I had started getting really, really comfortable uh, in the new house that I thought, okay, I'm going to start teaching online again. And the reality of the online teaching sector was I was trying to step back from it actually just a little bit and try to actually focus more on like TPT and content creating and creating, you know, mentoring ships and offering, you know, and my memberships on my YouTube and try to focus on my clients in that respect. But what ended up happening was that I had a parent reach out on the out school platform requesting that I tutor their children. And I jumped at the chance because I thought, wow, you know, they want one on one tutoring with me. And I just got so burnt out teaching like the solar system class or the camps like I was just getting really, really tired of that. And I just thought, why not just kind of weed myself back into the out school platform since I have parents who were interested in what I had to offer in a more or less respectful time zone. So 
I jumped at the chance because I thought this will give me a new opportunity to kind of restart, refresh on the OutSchool platform. And so I put in a lot of focus on OutSchool because I was getting more clients. Not only that, I thought I would shift around my niche a little bit on the OutSchool platform where I would offer more YouTube classes and more one-on-one -on -one YouTube, like younger clients rather than, you know, the, the other classes that I had before with the science and, and the actual, you know, solar system and insects and dinosaurs and all this other classes that I had to offer. And it was actually a really nice change of pace. And I still kind of do that. I had, you know, the YouTube camp, although I haven't seen any new enrollments uh, for July or August yet, but I still have my current ongoing YouTube clients that I see every week. And I'm still focusing my time and attention on them for, you know, that reason on OutSchool. But because there was so much attention on OutSchool, I've kind of just pushed all school on the back burner because from my, you know, past experiences and even in January trying to have a resurgence of teaching back on the all school platform in January, you know, the experiences were okay. And even though like all school accidentally sent out the email to all the all school teachers, even the ones that were not founding teachers, that founding teachers still get to keep like the 15, you know, percent, you know, takeaway rate, you know, of their classes and not the 20% for like everyone else. It was one of those things that it wasn't like I was just getting fully booked classes and all these students were signing up. And a lot of times there would be issues like IT issues. And unfortunately, at the time that I was teaching the classes, the support team would not be live to help out. So I would try my best or I would be like, I'm so sorry, we're just gonna have to stop and trying to get the parents to understand that. And of course, it was almost like PTSD a little bit in terms of like, I was teaching the solar system class over and over and over and over again because it was what the parents were liking from me. I mean, call it what you may will. Maybe I do have a gift for teaching young children about the planets in our solar system. But there was also a part of me that was just really, really burnt out and teaching about the planets in our solar system. And I really was just, you know, at a point that I thought, I don't know, like even with the 15% takeaway, is it really worth teaching on the platform for me, at, at least for now? And it's not to say that if you are an all school teacher and you have found your niche and you have a group of students that you see over and over and over and over again, and you're finding success in that, that what you're experiencing, you know, what you're experiencing right now, you know, is great if that's what's happening to you. However, there has been a couple of concerns from other teachers, especially on all school groups that have shared that they are extremely concerned in terms of intellectual property being public for people to see. And it's not to say like, if you yourself said, yeah, you know, even though I teach this lesson on all school, I'm gonna also offer this lesson on TPT for for people to use for their ESL lessons as well. That's not to say that at all. It's this whole contract within all school that says, you know, once you submit this lesson to us, it's officially going to be ours. Like obviously you will still be able to teach your own lessons. It's technically, going to be the property of all school as well and a lot of people feel a little fishy about that which which can be fair because obviously it was you who wrote that lesson or maybe I wrote the lesson for you and you're using that for your lessons so like you you see that happening and then you see this little teeny tiny fine print that is like Oh, well, it's also part of all school as well. That can rub people the wrong way, knowing that that information that they have created for themselves is now belonging to someone else. Which, if you were considered what they had initially, like a P&G teacher, where like you did offer your lessons for other teachers 
to teach, that would have been fine, but they had foregone that process completely. And now they're just like, well, we're gonna be similar to out school in that you still have to write your own lessons and, you know, and still show yourself on there, you know, but there's just won't be any commission. Like if we somehow take that property and have another teacher teach it, you're not gonna get anything out of it. So, you know, that can be a little iffy. And another thing is there were several teachers that said, you know, I just don't think all school is for me and I wanna leave. And so they would like try to delete their profile, talk to support and say, hey, you know, this is not really for me. Thanks for the opportunity. Can you please remove my profile, my classes, all this stuff and return it to me? And people have run into issues with that on the all school team. Now, why the all school team is not being very respondent or not at least respecting the request of the teachers that want to leave the profile, again, I'm not really sure because to be honest, I had tried to stay on Dean Talk and I had tried to stay in contact with the all school team about various different things, not even related to like the platform or classes, but just like, you know, there were many paid opportunities they had given me at first, like way before on like creating videos and creating content for their platform. And they would like pay me for it, but I had just not heard anything in almost a year now on helping them out. And it, you know, it really broke my heart because I really felt like I was valued by all school for a really, really long time. And now it just feels like I am not the, the a valuable person to them. I'm just, I'm just part of the cog in their machine. And I, I have a lot of mixed feelings about that. So I still have an active profile on all school, but I have not been active on it myself, if, if that makes sense. And unfortunately, I don't wanna try to pick a fight with them in terms of just like, oh, we'll put my profile down. I don't wanna teach with you anymore because it seems like from my understanding, they're not really willing to, to, to do that. And why, I don't know. Um, but as far as, as far as least for me, um, I'm sort of just not really active on the all school platform because I'm basically teaching classes that only certain parents only like for me. They won't sign up for anything else that I have to offer except the solar system. And I have so much more to offer than just the solar system class. And it just breaks my heart really. And it also kind of reverts back to ESL, which for what I have to offer, it's not either. It's not even ESL. It's Montessori lessons, or it's related to YouTube or Crow Music Lab. And I just, I can't go back to my VIP kid days and just like do ESL lessons again. Now, obviously, if you are an online teacher and you teach ESL, this is not a smack in the face to you. Obviously, if all school works for you in teaching ESL lessons, I am so happy for you. And like I said, if, if that is your experience right now, please leave a comment down below because obviously there are still ESL teachers out there that want to know that there is a platform out there that can help them teach ESL to other students around the world. I just think all school it has only served a purpose for me for a certain time. And for this time, for what I'm looking for right now in my YouTube channel, uh, what I have to offer on OutSchool and what I'm just kind of doing like with TPT and just other things, just kind of like shifting priorities in my life. All school doesn't really serve a purpose, at least for me anymore. Now, another reason I kind of want to keep my profile open is if a need arises that maybe I want to teach some evening classes or I have availability to teach some classes on the all school platform then i will open up my availability and open up the classes that i want to teach on there however it's still just going to be catching dust for the time being and i'm just going to be focusing in on what i feel is important and what i feel is important is how i can serve this community 
in the best way possible because I know a lot of you are on online teaching journeys and wanting to figure out how to navigate that. Should I go on a platform? Should I do my own thing one-on-one -on -one or in pods or groups? Should I focus on content creating? Should I do, you know, whatever, whatever it is. I know a lot of you have followed me for online teaching. And if I still am able to serve you in that capacity, please, please, please let me know because I want to be able to still stay in the know if I can serve you in that way. However, if there are other things that you're thinking, okay, what about passive income? What about TPT? You've talked a little bit about that. You know, let me know. I can focus more on TPT and just kind of focusing in on that journey as well. Or maybe you just, <laughs> maybe you're a young viewer and you're like, I think you should just do like Chrome Music Lab tutorials. You know, if, if it comes to a point that my, the online teachers in this community are just like, you know, Kelsey, you've made a lot of videos and, you know, I think you've served a lot of us online teachers and helped us along in this journey. Like if you just want to do something completely different, you know, it's fine with me. You know, the, 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 the big takeaway for me doing this channel is, is not to get monetized, although that is a really nice feature. The biggest thing for me being on camera is to figure out how it is that I can serve you, the community, the viewer. What are what more do you want to see from me? What can I do to help? And the fact of the matter is there's over 2,000 of you now, which thank you again for 2,000 subscribers. Uh, you know, while I probably will not be able to meet each and every one of you <laughs> individually, I do want to help in the best way possible. And if there is anything I could do, maybe maybe something completely different than, you know, what I have done on my channel. Maybe it's not online teaching that you're looking for. Maybe it's not Chrome Music Lab tutorials that you're looking for or passive income. You know, maybe there's lesson videos that you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for React videos. <laughs> From me maybe you maybe you actually are genuinely curious about what I do in my life like what what does my daily life look like or you know what is my process so you know this was a real real heart to heart here my friends so um, if you stayed into the end <laughs> thank you because this was a true a heart to heart not just about all school but just like, we're kind of just where I stand um, in terms of what kind of content I want to offer to you all. And, you know, I, I feel like I haven't been as present as maybe I should have been. I know there's just been a lot of different craziness going on. And I, I just want to say sorry for that, that I have not been as present as I maybe should be to some of you. I still want to create content for you all. So that's why I'm asking you, what more do you want to see from me? Because I don't want this to stop because things are shifting in my life. You know, eventually there is going to come a point that I would have to stop online teaching and that, you know, online teaching is not something I'm going to do and, and keep doing in my grave. I'm not going to do that. Eventually life's going to change and perspectives are going to change so now would be the time as i am doing this update and just new house new lifestyle all these different things now is the chance to let me know what you want to see from me so like i said if you stayed this long thank you if you're still not a subscriber please make sure to subscribe because I'm sure you want to see the, the updated video as soon as I get all these comments flooding in of what I should talk about next or what kind of videos I should do next. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.